Hey guys and girls, welcome to the course overview. I am John Merritt from BornToProduce.com, a Steinberg certified training center. And in this tutorial, you will learn to make a complete drum and bass track from nothing right through to the final mix down using only Cubase stock instruments and plugins. The track you're going to make is played in full at the end of this video, so stick around and have a listen to what you'll be able to make if you complete the course. So this course is over four and a half hours long, spread over 29 lessons, and in that time you will learn about all of the important functions of Cubase and how to navigate your way around them. But of course it's not just about Cubase knowledge you are going to pick up, but also the course is packed with music production skills, techniques and knowledge which will allow you to understand when, where and how to use them in your own productions. So let's dive in and discuss some of the things that you're going to be able to do once you complete the course. So after a quick intro and look at the settings, we'll get right into making a drum beat using Groove Agent SE5, swapping out sounds and using the various beats that come with it. Now as soon as we have a beat down, we'll then start looking at basic music theory so you can learn to make your own chord progressions using very simple and easy to repeat steps. We'll be covering scales, triad structure and later learning about using stable and unstable notes to create other musical content out of any chord progression that you make. So here we will really start to flesh out the drum and bass track, bringing in sounds from a variety of sources like the sampler, Halion Sonic SE and Retrolog 2. Now where we use Retrolog 2, we will mainly be making the sounds completely from scratch, including the bass line with a top bass drone, a pad, pluck sounds, even a white noise riser that will add to the energy of the track and help sort of tie it all together. Also a big part of this section is arranging the track, so we will look at how to structure a drum and bass track and how to keep the energy flowing with tension and release so you always keep your listener pulled in. So here you will learn first how to process a raw vocal performance and iron out any kinks with pitch and timing correction. We will then mix the vocal using EQ, compression and saturation to get it to the right level of brightness for our track. After that we'll look in depth at the various techniques we need to mix our track successfully. You will learn how to make the drum sound fuller and more punchy, how to give each element its own space and balance the whole mix so it sounds full and complete. We'll also be using a variety of distortion and saturation effects on various elements to really push the track to its fullest potential. Lastly, we'll limit the track and render it out so you can share it with the world. So that's it from me. I am going to let the track play that you can make if you get the course. I really hope to see you in there. Thanks for watching. No, my lucid dreams. I pick the things I set the scene. Picture you and me. In my life. 